Before you close your eyes tonight, take a moment to center your heart in God's presence. In a world filled with distractions and noise, let this hour be a sacred time of peace, renewal, and connection with our Heavenly Father. Whether you're seeking rest, healing, or simply a sense of calm, these prayers will guide your spirit into His care. Stay with us as we journey through a full hour of God's grace, lifting up our souls and finding rest in His promises. Let this be your time of peace, your time with God. The Holy Spirit is our guide and comforter. How much we need His presence in our lives. His wisdom, strength, and direction are essential for us. Jesus promised us the perfect helper when we open our hearts to Him and receive Jesus Christ. When we invite the Holy Spirit into our lives, do you understand what He brings? Do you realize the impact of His presence in our walk as believers? The Holy Spirit creates a new bond between us and God, but this is merely the beginning, the start of His profound work in us. Ephesians 1 verses 13 to 14 tells us, And you also were included in Christ when you heard the message of truth, the gospel of your salvation. When you believed, you were marked in him with a seal, the promised Holy Spirit, who is a deposit guaranteeing our inheritance until the redemption of those who are God's possession, to the praise of his glory. The Holy Spirit seals us as God's own. We are marked, secured by the Holy Spirit. So, let's not harden our hearts, but instead, be open and surrender. Let's invite the Holy Spirit into our hearts and experience the helper that Jesus spoke of. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, my Savior and King Jesus Christ, you said in John 16 verses 7 to 8, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth, it is for your good that I go away. Unless I go, the helper will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. When he comes, he will convict the world concerning sin and righteousness and judgment. Thank you, Lord, that the Holy Spirit is here for my benefit, to be my advocate. May he convict my heart, removing all sin and unrighteousness from my life. I ask that the Holy Spirit be so real to me that I may truly experience his power. May he stir within me and keep me aligned with your will, Lord. Even in moments of trials and challenges, when I feel isolated or when I struggle to see past my current situation, I pray the Holy Spirit removes the blinders from my eyes. Let him open my spiritual sight, so I may remain attuned to his guidance, impacting not just me, but those around me. Your word says, but the Comforter, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. So, when I face difficulties and despair seems overwhelming, bring to my remembrance your promises. Remind me, Lord, that Jesus is my healer, my Savior, and my Redeemer, the one who breaks every stronghold. I seek your direction in every area of my life. Teach me, Jesus, to release the burdens that weigh me down and help me hold fast to the blessings you've given me, so that the enemy may not snatch them away. Rid my heart of any desire for things that hinder my faith, anything toxic that would lead to my downfall. I pray that you cast those desires far from me and set my heart fully on Jesus. Free me from all sorrow and anxiety, Lord. Your word, in John 16 verse 33, reminds me, in this world you will have trouble. But take heart. I have overcome the world. I claim and accept the peace you have promised, Lord. Even amid tribulation, 
I will rejoice because of you, Jesus. Help me, Lord, to clearly discern what is right and wrong, and grant me the strength to always choose what pleases you. I find comfort in your word, as 2 Corinthians 3 verse 17 declares, Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Thank you, King Jesus, for the freedom you have given me. I trust that as I draw near to you, and as you draw closer to me, I will be freed from the grip of sin in my life. Holy Spirit, I acknowledge my weakness, but I find strength in you. Empower me as I come before you in prayer. Help me to focus my mind on the kingdom of God, and I invite you to be both my guide and my close friend. Free me from any harmful desires and tendencies, and release my mind from all the anxieties and worries that burden me. I am reminded that you have not given me a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. I thank you for your presence, and I now claim a life of abundance and victory through you. I submit my will, my pain, my challenges, my desires, and my dreams into your hands. All praise belongs to you, Lord Jesus. All honor and glory are yours. You are my Redeemer, my Savior, and my heart is filled with gratitude, declaring your greatness all day long. I praise you because the attacks of the enemy hold no power over me. I praise you because with you by my side, I will stand victorious when the battle is over. Father, my ability to live a victorious life as a Christian is not because of my abilities, skills, or talents. It's all due to your grace and mercy. My ability to live with joy and faith is not based on my willpower or positive thinking, it's rooted in my relationship with you, Lord. And for that, I give you praise. Forgive me, Lord, if I have held on to things that hinder my spiritual growth. Break the chains of anything that stifles my praise. Loosen every hold the enemy has tried to place on me, especially anything meant to keep my hands from lifting in praise and surrender to you. I raise my hands to you now as a sign of surrendering all control to you. I abandon my ways, Lord, and instead choose to follow your will, your word, and your ways because they are higher and better than mine. As long as I have breath in my body, as long as I am alive and standing, I will continue to praise you, today and forever. Even when disaster strikes, and even when I feel weary, I will lift up your name and glorify you, both now and always. John 4 verse 24 reminds us that God is spirit and those who worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. Teach me, King Jesus, how to truly worship you with sincerity and in truth. You are my God, and I exalt you. I praise your name for your faithfulness, for you have done wonderful things in my life. I will give thanks to you each and every day, and with all my heart, I will testify of the wonderful deeds you have done for me. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made in your image. You have called me beloved, you have forgiven me, and you have held me close. Great are you, Lord, and you are worthy of all praise. Your greatness is beyond our understanding or imagination. I will praise you at all times and honor you with all that I am. Your word in Psalm 95 verses 1 to 3 says, Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord, let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before him with thanksgiving and extol him with music and song. For the Lord is the great God, the great King above all gods. How great you are, King Jesus! You are the Lord of glory, strong and mighty, 
the one who fights our battles. You are forever faithful, and your mercy never ends. For this reason, I will continually praise you. All I can offer is my gratitude and my praise, for you alone are worthy. Fill me with the strength to overcome every temptation and every challenge that comes my way. When I am weak, Holy Spirit, you are my strength. When I am discouraged, you are my comfort. When I am uncertain, you are my guide. I invite you, Holy Spirit, to be my constant counselor, my ever-present help in times of need. Free me from any tendencies, desires, or thoughts that pull me away from God. Guard my mind against anxiety, doubt, and fear, and fill it instead with your peace, for I know that you have not given me a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Thank you for your abiding presence, and I claim the abundant life and victory that is mine through Christ. I surrender my will, my heartaches, my struggles, my dreams, and my desires to you, Lord. Lead me in all things, and may your Holy Spirit remain with me, guiding my steps and filling me with your wisdom. I praise you, Lord Jesus, and I declare that all glory and honor belongs to you. You are my Redeemer, my Savior, and I will sing of your praises all day long. I lift up your name because with you on my side, I will always stand victorious, no matter the battle. Father, it's your grace and mercy that enable me to live in victory, not my own strength or abilities. It's my relationship with you that gives me joy and faith, not my willpower. For that, I give you all the praise and glory. If there is anything in my life hindering my growth or faith, I ask that you break it, Lord. Cut off anything that tries to suppress my praise or steal my joy. Free me from all chains that keep my hands from lifting in surrender to you. I submit to your will because it is better than mine. I trust in you and relinquish all control. So long as there is breath in my body, I will praise you, Lord. In moments of trial, exhaustion, or fear, I will still lift your name in praise, for you are worthy of it all. Victoria Spirit, a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. Lord, I thank you for your unfailing love, for your promises that are steadfast and true. You have been my refuge and strength, my ever-present help in times of trouble. And so, even as I face challenges, I will not fear, for I know you are with me. I surrender all to you, Jesus, my worries, my fears, my doubts. I choose to walk in faith, knowing that you have already paved the way for my victory. Your grace is sufficient for me and your power is made perfect in my weakness. When I am weak, you are strong. When I falter, you lift me up. I am grateful for your Holy Spirit, who guides me, comforts me, and teaches me the way of truth. Father, I pray that you continue to refine me, mold me into the person you have called me to be. Let my life be a reflection of your glory and let your light shine through me so that others may see and know that you are God. May my faith remain unshaken, no matter what I face, because you are the author and finisher of my faith. I trust in your timing, your will, and your ways, Lord. I will wait on you, and I will not be moved. For in you, I find my strength, my peace, and my hope. You are my Savior, my Redeemer, and my King. I give you all the praise and honor that is due your name. Dear Heavenly Father, I come before you today with a heart full of gratitude and a spirit longing for your presence. 
I thank you for being my refuge, my rock, and my strength. I acknowledge that every breath I take, every beat of my heart, is a testament to your grace and mercy in my life. Lord, I recognize that I am weak, but you are strong. In my moments of doubt, I will cling to your promises, for they are my anchor in the storm. As I embark on this day, I pray for your guidance. Help me to fix my mind on the kingdom of God, where true peace and joy reside. May I not be distracted by the worries of this world or the temptations that seek to pull me away from your path. I invite your Holy Spirit to be my counselor, my advocate, and my friend. Teach me to discern your voice amidst the noise of daily life. Let me find solace in your words, knowing that they provide the wisdom I need to navigate the challenges ahead. Lord Jesus, your word reminds me that I have not been given a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind, 2 Timothy 1 verse 7. Therefore, I release all my anxieties and burdens to you. I submit my will, my desires, my dreams, and my fears at your feet, trusting that you will take care of all that concerns me. Help me to let go of any wayward tendencies and desires that do not align with your will for my life. Cleanse me of all unrighteousness and create in me a pure heart, O God, Psalm 51 verse 10. Father, I recognize that life can sometimes feel overwhelming. Trials and tribulations may come my way, but I find comfort in your promise that you have overcome the world, John 16 verse 33. May your peace, which surpasses all understanding, Guard my heart and mind in Christ Jesus, Philippians 4 verse 7. In times of uncertainty, help me to remember that you are always near, even when I cannot see beyond my current circumstances. Open my eyes to the truth of your presence, and let me feel the warmth of your love surrounding me. Holy Spirit, I pray for a fresh touch from you. Fill me with your power and presence so that I may walk confidently in the purpose you have laid before me. I desire to be so in tune with your spirit that it impacts everyone around me. May your light shine through me, drawing others closer to you. Remind me of the promises found in your word, especially in moments of despair. May I hold on to the hope that is found in Jesus Christ, my healer and redeemer. Teach me to let go of anything that weighs me down. Help me to recognize the toxic influences in my life and to release them. Lord, I want to focus on what is good, pure, and uplifting, Philippians 4 verse 8. I pray that you would remove any longing for things that are detrimental to my faith, and set my heart only on you. Fill me with a desire to pursue righteousness and holiness, so that I may reflect your glory in every area of my life. I lift my hands in surrender to you, Lord, as a sign of relinquishing all control. I abandon my own ways and embrace your will, for I know that your plans for me are good, Jeremiah 29 verse 11. I praise you, King Jesus, for your goodness, mercy, and grace. With you by my side, I will stand victorious over every battle that comes my way. I declare that I am more than a conqueror through Christ who strengthens me, Romans 8 verse 37. As I praise you, Lord, I choose to focus on the blessings in my life. I will not allow the enemy to steal my joy or distract me from your goodness. My mouth will be filled with praise, declaring your splendor and faithfulness all day long. Even in the midst of trials, I will offer a sacrifice of praise, for you are worthy of all honor and glory. In the words of Psalm 95, 
I come into your presence with thanksgiving, and I make a joyful noise to the rock of my salvation. You are great and greatly to be praised, King of glory. I acknowledge that every good gift comes from you, and I will not forget to testify of your wonderful deeds in my life. I praise you for making me fearfully and wonderfully, for creating me in your image, Psalm 139 verse 14. I pray for those who may be feeling lost or alone today. May they experience your love and comfort, knowing that you are their refuge in times of trouble. Draw them close to you, Lord, and reveal yourself to them in powerful ways. Help them to find strength in your presence and to trust in your goodness. As I continue to seek you, I pray that I would become a true worshipper, one who worships you in spirit and truth, John for verse 24. Teach me to offer my life as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to you, Romans 12 verse 1. May my worship be a sweet fragrance to you, Lord, and may it bring glory to your name. I believe that where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom, 2 Corinthians 3 verse 17. I claim that freedom in my life today. I pray that any chains holding me down would be broken, and that I would rise up to walk in the liberty that Christ has provided. Help me to always remember that no weapon formed against me shall prosper, Isaiah 54 verse 17. Heavenly Father, as the day comes to a close, I come before you with a heart full of gratitude and reverence. I thank you for every moment I experienced, for every lesson I learned, and for each blessing that came my way. Even in the struggles, I recognize your guiding hand sustaining and leading me. You are my refuge and my fortress, and in you, I seek rest and peace. As I prepare to rest, I surrender all my worries and anxieties that may have accompanied me throughout the day. I release every concern that attempts to occupy my mind and heart. Your word teaches us in 1 Peter 5 verse 7 to cast all our cares upon you, for you care for us. So, I lay each of these burdens at your feet, trusting in your infinite love and wisdom. Lord, I invite the Holy Spirit to be my comforter and guide as I sleep. May his presence envelop me, bringing me a sense of peace that surpasses all understanding. I ask that you fill my heart with hope and joy, reminding me of your promises and faithfulness. Help me to find solace in knowing that you are in control of every aspect of my life. As I close my eyes, I pray that you protect my mind from any thoughts of fear or doubt. You have not given me a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind, 2 Timothy 1 verse 7. Lord, I ask for your strength to wash over me, revitalizing my spirit and renewing my mind. Let your peace guard my heart and mind in Christ Jesus, Philippians for verse 7. In the stillness of the night, I ask for your guidance. Speak to me through dreams and whispers of your wisdom. Reveal to me your will and purpose for my life, drawing me ever closer to a deeper relationship with you. I yearn for your presence, Lord. Let my sleep be filled with divine encounters and heavenly revelations. I declare that I am free from all burdens that seek to weigh me down. I choose to embrace the abundant and victorious life that you have promised me. Even in moments of uncertainty, I trust that you are my light and my salvation, Psalm 27 verse 1. I will not fear what tomorrow may bring, for I know that you go before me, making a way where there seems to be no way. Thank you for your protection, Lord. I plead the blood of Jesus over my home and my loved ones. 
May your angels encamp around us, guarding us from harm and evil. In the quiet of the night, I rest in your promises, knowing that you are always with me. I also pray for those who are struggling, those who feel lost or alone. May they encounter your love and comfort tonight. Wrap your arms around them, Lord, and give them hope. Help them to feel your presence, even in their darkest moments. As I prepare to drift off to sleep, I will praise you. I will honor you with every breath I take. Your greatness is beyond measure, and your love is everlasting. I will sing of your praises, even in the night, for you are my God, and I am forever grateful. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you for your mercy and grace. May I awaken refreshed and renewed in the morning, ready to embrace the day with a heart full of faith and joy. Help me to be a light to those around me, sharing your love and grace with everyone I encounter. Lord, I claim and receive the peace you promised, knowing that you have overcome the world. I embrace the truth that my peace comes from you alone. In moments when the chaos of life seeks to invade my mind, may your calming presence restore my spirit. Let me be anchored in the hope that, regardless of my circumstances, you are with me, guiding me through every storm. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit, who comforts, guides, and empowers me daily. As I close this day, I invite your Spirit to fill my heart anew. May he help me discern your voice amidst the noise and distractions of this world. I pray that his wisdom leads my thoughts and actions, helping me to walk in your truth and righteousness. In those moments of temptation and trial, remind me, Holy Spirit, of my identity as a child of God. I am not defined by my failures or my fears, but by your love and grace that covers all. Help me to remember that I have the authority to resist the enemy's attacks and claim the victory that Jesus won for me on the cross. I declare that I will not be swayed by doubt or despair, for my hope is firmly anchored in you. As I reflect on this day, I ask for forgiveness for any moments I may have fallen short of your glory. Cleanse me from any thoughts, words, or actions that did not honor you. Renew my mind and spirit, that I may be transformed into the likeness of Christ. Help me to extend the same grace and forgiveness to others as you have so generously shown me. Lord, I also lift up my loved ones to you this evening. I pray for their protection, health, and spiritual growth. Surround them with your love and shield them from harm. May they also feel the warmth of your presence, drawing them closer to you. I intercede for those who may be struggling in their faith or facing challenges that seem insurmountable. Encourage their hearts, Lord, and remind them that you are their strength and refuge. In my dreams tonight, I ask that you grant me revelations and insights that draw me nearer to your heart. Speak to me, Lord, in ways that I can understand, and fill my heart with visions of hope for the future. Let me awaken with a renewed spirit and clarity of purpose, ready to embrace the new day ahead. As I rest, I ask that you wrap me in your arms of comfort and peace. Let the weight of the day melt away as I surrender all to you. I trust that you are working all things together for my good, according to your perfect will. May my sleep be deep and restorative, rejuvenating my body and soul for the tasks ahead. In your word, I find solace, and I cling to the promises therein. Help me to meditate on those truths throughout the night that I may wake with them etched in my heart and mind. 
As I rise in the morning, may I be equipped and ready to face the day, shining your light in a world that so desperately needs it. Thank you, Lord, for your unfailing love and faithfulness. Thank you for hearing my prayers and for your answers, which may not always come in the way I expect, but are always for my benefit and your glory. I bless your name and honor you for who you are, my Savior, my Lord, and my friend. As I conclude this prayer, I declare that I am filled with hope, joy, and expectation for the days to come. I am excited for the opportunities you will present and the ways you will work in and through my life. May I always be a vessel for your love, grace, and truth in this world. My way in the midst of trials. I declare that I will keep my eyes fixed on you, Lord, and trust in your promises. Your word assures me that no weapon formed against me shall prosper, and I stand firm in this truth. Heavenly Father, I ask that you help me to hold on to the joy of my salvation, even when life's storms rage around me. In every circumstance, I will choose to worship you. I will sing praises to your name and rejoice in your goodness. For your faithfulness endures forever, and I will not let temporary hardship sway me from the path you have laid before me. I pray that your Holy Spirit will remind me of all that you have done for me. May the memory of your blessings inspire me to persevere through difficult times. Lord, I lift my hands in surrender, acknowledging that I am nothing without you. Empower me, strengthen me, and fill me with your Spirit so that I may reflect your love and light to those around me. In times of doubt, help me remember that you are my refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. I thank you for your comforting presence, for the assurance that you are always with me. As I go about my day, may I be a beacon of hope to others, demonstrating the peace that comes from trusting in you. I pray for clarity in my thoughts and actions. Guide my decisions and help me to walk in your light. Lord, grant me the courage to stand firm in my faith, to speak boldly about your goodness, and to share the message of hope and salvation that comes through Jesus Christ. Let my life be a testament to your grace and mercy. May I never forget the price you paid for my freedom and the love that you have for me. I commit my plans and dreams to you, knowing that you are able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that I can ask or think. Thank you, Lord, for hearing my prayer. I place my trust in you, confident that you will work all things together for my good. I will rejoice in your goodness, knowing that I am a child of the Most High God, destined for victory and abundant life. Heavenly Father, may your peace calm any anxious thoughts within me. Grant me the grace to navigate the challenges I encounter, for you are deserving of all praise for your kindness and compassion. Dear Lord, I thank you for rescuing me and for sending your Son as the ultimate sacrifice for my sake. Thank you for transforming my life from darkness to light, from death to life. You have given me a new heart that yearns to love and obey you wholeheartedly. Help me to honor you in all that I am. Guide my every step and teach me how to live in a way that reflects productivity and purpose. In every circumstance, reveal your will to me so that my life may be pleasing to you and I can serve effectively in your kingdom. You know all, Lord. You understand my family's needs and the areas I need to work on in my own life. Help me to trust in your ways. May you be the driving force behind my actions, goals, motives, and words so that all I do brings glory to you. Help me rely on you in all my endeavors. 
Let everything I undertake further your kingdom and reflect your glory here on earth. As John 15 verse 5 reminds us, I am the vine, and you are the branches. When I remain in you, I bear fruit. I understand that apart from you, I can do nothing. So, as I remain connected to you, I trust that my life will yield much fruit. Father, even if I tend to many seeds in this life, it is you who provides growth. Your plan does not rely on my strength or willpower, but solely on your grace. Lord, my greatest desire is to stand before you on judgment day, and hear you say, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Help me to be an effective Christian. Keep me from becoming idle or complacent in your kingdom. Don't let me sit back and wait for heaven. Inspire me to take action in this life. Use me to accomplish your desires, to build your church, to witness to those who are lost, and to showcase your goodness to everyone around me. Awaken me from the slumber of comfort, for your plans for me are far greater than I can imagine. You are the potter, and I am the clay. Shape me into your likeness each day. Forgive me when I fall short, and grant me the wisdom to seek you first in all my decisions. Lord Jesus, I trust that the trials you allow me to face will reveal the treasure within me. I accept that the afflictions I endure will develop me into a stronger and more effective member of the body of Christ. May you cultivate a deeper level of faith within me. Heavenly Father, your mercies are renewed each morning, and your faithfulness is unmatched. Thank you for your blessings and for the gift of another day filled with potential and possibilities. I understand that today may come with its own challenges, but I believe that each day is a precious gift from you, and I embrace it with gratitude. I am so thankful for life and for the assurance of a living God who cares for me deeply. Thank you for blessing me with peace in my mind and joy in my heart. Guide my steps, Lord. Your word says in Proverbs 3 verse 6 that if I acknowledge you in all my ways, you will direct my paths. Help me to recognize you not just in moments of crisis, but in every aspect of my life so that you can lead me. Go before me today and clear the way for success. Defend me against any evil forces and shield me from harm. Fill me with an overcoming spirit, casting away any doubts or fears that could hinder my progress. Keep me alert and vigilant against the enemy's attacks, reminding me that I am no longer a slave to fear, but a child of God, victorious over my struggles. Guide my decision-making and help me make wise choices today. Fill the gaps and fulfill my needs, Lord. I trust in your provision, as Psalm 37 verse 25 assures me that the righteous will never be forsaken. I stand on this promise for every need in my life, believing that you will never abandon me as I seek your peace and guidance. Though I may not know what lies ahead, I am grateful to know the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the one who holds the future. I can rest in the assurance that all is well because you are on the throne. I find peace amid uncertainties, trusting that you will lead me and hold my hand through every step of my journey. Should I stray from your path, gently guide me back to where you want me to be, so that I may walk in your ways. Heavenly Father, I come before you with a humble and grateful heart, knowing that you are always with me. Your word tells me that you will never leave me nor forsake me, and I find comfort in your promises. Lord, as I stand in your presence, I ask for your continued guidance over my life. I surrender all that I am to you and ask that you would direct my steps. 
I may not know what tomorrow holds, but I trust in you because you hold my future in your hands. I trust in your perfect will for my life. Lord Jesus, as I walk through this life, I know that I will face challenges and obstacles. Yet, I choose to stand firm in my faith, knowing that you are my fortress and my shield. No weapon formed against me shall prosper, for you are my defender. You have promised that though I may walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil because you are with me. Your rod and your staff comfort me, and I find peace in the assurance that you are my protector. Father, I declare your promises over my life today. I speak life into every dead situation and declare that where there seems to be no way, you will make a way. I believe that you are the God who opens doors that no man can shut and shuts doors that no man can open. I trust that you are working all things together for my good, and I stand on the promise that you have plans to prosper me and not to harm me, to give me a hope and a future. Lord, I come against every spirit of fear and doubt that tries to take root in my heart. Your word says that you have not given me a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. So, I reject the lies of the enemy and choose to stand in faith. I choose to believe in your promises, even when I cannot see the outcome. I declare that I will not be moved by what I see, but by what I know to be true in your word. Holy Spirit, I invite you to fill me afresh today. Renew my mind and my spirit. Lead me in paths of righteousness for your name's sake. Teach me to walk in obedience and humility before the Lord. Convict me when I stray from your will and guide me back to the narrow path that leads to life. I surrender my will to you, Holy Spirit, and ask that you take control of every area of my life. Lead me in truth, and help me to discern your voice clearly amidst the noise of this world. Lord, I thank you for your provision in my life. You are Jehovah Jireh, my provider. I lack nothing because you are my shepherd. You provide for all of my needs according to your riches in glory. I thank you for meeting my every need, whether it be physical, emotional, or spiritual. I trust that you will continue to sustain me and my family, and I declare that we shall lack no good thing because we are children of the Most High God. Father, I lift up my family before you today. I ask for your protection over each one of them. Surround them with your angels and guard them from harm. May your peace rest upon their hearts and minds, and may they walk in the fullness of your blessings. I pray for unity and love to abound in my household. Help us to be a family that seeks you first in all that we do and may our lives be a reflection of your grace and love to those around us. Lord Jesus, I also pray for those who are hurting and lost today. I lift up those who are struggling with sickness, depression, anxiety, and despair. You are the great physician, and I believe in your healing power. I ask that you would touch those who are sick and bring restoration to their bodies. Comfort those who are grieving and give them the peace that surpasses all understanding. For those who feel lost, I pray that they would find their way back to you, the Good Shepherd who leaves the ninety-nine to find the one. Father, your word says in Psalm 46 verse 1 that you are our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. So, I pray for strength for all who feel weak today. Strengthen their hearts, Lord, and remind them that your grace is sufficient for them, for your power is made perfect in weakness. Let them know that when they are weak, you are strong. 
be their source of hope and encouragement and help them to find rest in your presence. I also ask for your wisdom, Lord. In this world filled with confusion and uncertainty, I seek your wisdom to guide my decisions. Your word says that if anyone lacks wisdom, they should ask, and you will give generously to all without finding fault. So I come before you, asking for the wisdom to navigate the challenges of life. Help me to make choices that honor you and align with your will. Teach me to trust in your timing and not to lean on my own understanding. Lord, I ask for your peace to reign in my heart. In a world filled with chaos and uncertainty, I need your peace to anchor my soul. You are the Prince of Peace, and I believe that you can calm every storm that rages in my life. So, I declare your peace over my mind, my heart, and my circumstances. I will not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, I will present my requests to you. And I trust that the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard my heart and mind in Christ Jesus. Heavenly Father, I also pray for boldness in my faith. Help me to be a light in the darkness and a beacon of hope to those around me. Give me the courage to share the good news of Jesus Christ with others, and let my life be a testimony of your love and grace. Help me to live in a way that reflects your character and brings glory to your name. May I not be ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God that brings salvation to everyone who believes. Lord, I pray for breakthrough in every area of my life. Whatever obstacles are standing in my way, I believe that you are able to remove them. You are the God of miracles, and nothing is too hard for you. So, I trust in you to bring about breakthrough in my finances, in my relationships, in my career, and in my spiritual walk with you. I declare that I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living, and I will walk in victory because I am more than a conqueror through Christ who strengthens me. Father, I lift up this nation and its leaders to you. Your word instructs us to pray for those in authority, so I ask that you would grant them wisdom and discernment as they make decisions that affect the lives of many. May they lead with integrity and righteousness, seeking justice and peace for all. I pray for unity in this nation, that we would come together under your guidance, setting aside our differences and working for the common good. Holy Spirit, continue to work within me. Transform me from the inside out. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Help me to put off the old self with its sinful desires and to put on the new self, created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. May I walk in the Spirit, bearing the fruit of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Mold me into the image of Christ, and let my life be a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to you. Lord, I give you all the praise and glory for what you have done and what you are about to do in my life. I believe that you are working behind the scenes, preparing me for greater things. I trust that you will open doors that no man can shut and lead me into the plans and purposes that you have for me. I thank you for your faithfulness and for your unfailing love. You are worthy of all praise, honor, and glory. I come before you, recognizing that you are a limitless God, capable of doing all things. I declare, in the name of King Jesus Christ, that I am covered and protected by his precious blood. You are a merciful God and a loving Father 
and I thank you for your word, which fills me with hope and assures me of a secure future in you. As I journey through the trials, challenges, and different seasons of life, through deep waters and fiery moments, I pray for the strength to remain steadfast. Help me to stay committed to you, Lord. Teach me to be a faithful servant, fully surrendering my life into your care. Father, help me to trust in the refuge of your promises and the safety of your arms. Even in times of testing, opposition, or uncertainty, I ask that you sustain my faith. Let my heart remain anchored in your truth, so that I will not be shaken. I declare that I have no reason to fear, for you are with me. Your word tells me that you have not given me a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Thank you, Lord, for your gentle grace and unmerited favor. Help me to rely completely on you, keeping my focus on Christ Jesus, the author and finisher of my faith. We bless your holy name. Amen. Holy Spirit, I acknowledge that you are my helper and my comforter. How much I need your presence in my life. Jesus gave us the ultimate helper, and when we open our hearts to Christ, the Holy Spirit begins a powerful work in us. Your presence transforms our relationship with God, marking the start of a beautiful journey. As it says in Ephesians 1 verses 13 to 14, we were included in Christ when we believed, and we were sealed with the Holy Spirit, a deposit guaranteeing our inheritance. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for marking me as one of God's own. Father, I pray that you soften my heart so that I may yield to your Spirit. May I surrender completely to you and experience the fullness of the Holy Spirit, as Jesus promised. As it says in John 16 verses 7 to 8, you sent the Holy Spirit to convict the world of sin and righteousness, and I thank you for this precious gift. Holy Spirit, convict me, cleanse me, and lead me into all truth. May I be sensitive to your presence and power, and may you guide me to live in the center of God's will. Even when trials come and I feel alone, open my eyes to see beyond my present circumstances, and remind me that I am never truly alone. Lord Jesus, you promised that the Holy Spirit would teach us all things and remind us of your words. So, when I face difficulties, let your promises rise in my heart. Bring to my remembrance that you are my healer, my savior, my redeemer, and the one who breaks every chain. I pray for wisdom and guidance in every area of my life. Teach me to release the burdens and cares that weigh me down, and help me hold on to the blessings you have given me. Free me from any desire that hinders my faith, and set my heart firmly on you, Lord Jesus. Your word, in John 16 verse 33, reminds me that though I will face tribulation in this world, I can take heart because you have overcome the world. I receive your peace, Lord, and I declare that I will be of good cheer, even in the face of adversity. Holy Spirit, walk with me always. I long for a deeper encounter with you, a fresh outpouring of your presence in my life. Help me live victoriously through Christ, trusting in your power. Guide me, Holy Spirit, and teach me the ways of God. Open my heart and mind to understand your truth, and remind me that I do not know everything. When the path seems unclear, bring me back to the promises of God. Reveal his will for my life, and strengthen my relationship with Jesus, the one who gave everything so that I could be saved. Convict me of any wrongdoing, and lead me to true repentance as I walk in the way of truth. Grant me the discernment to recognize what is right, 
and the courage to always choose it. Lord, your word in 2 Corinthians 3 verse 17 says, Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. I thank you for the liberty and freedom you have given me. As I draw nearer to you, set me free from the hold of sin in my life. Holy Spirit, I am weak, but you are strong. Empower me to live with a mindset on God's kingdom. Be my counselor, my friend, and my guide. Free my thoughts from worry and fear, for you have given me a spirit of love and a sound mind. Thank you for your constant presence, Holy Spirit. I declare that through you, I will live an abundant and victorious life. I submit my will, my hurts, my challenges, and my desires into your hands. Bless me, Holy Spirit, and continue to guide me in the ways of righteousness. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. As it says in Psalm 150 verse 6, Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. So today, I offer all praise and glory to you, Lord Jesus. You are my Redeemer and Savior, and my mouth will be filled with your praise all day long. I thank you, Lord, that no attack of the enemy can harm me because you are my protector. When the battle is over, I know I will stand victorious because you are with me. Father, I realize that the ability to live a victorious Christian life is not about my strength or abilities but about your grace and mercy. It's not by my willpower but by your spirit that I can have joy and peace. Forgive me for any attachments that have held me back and break any ties that hinder my faith. Remove anything that stops me from lifting my hands in praise and surrender to you. Lord, I abandon my ways, and I fully trust in yours. I lift my hands as a sign of complete surrender to your will. Amen. I encourage each and every one of you to carry these words in your heart throughout the day. Remember that the love, protection, and guidance of God are with you always. No matter what challenges you face, no matter how deep the waters or how fierce the fire, our God is limitless, merciful, and faithful. He is a loving Father, and His Spirit is with us as our comforter and helper. So let's walk in victory, anchored in the promises of His Word. I invite you to share this video with those who need to be reminded of God's power and love in their lives. Leave a comment below, sharing how this prayer has touched your heart or any other prayer requests you may have. We are a community of believers and we stand together in faith, supporting one another through prayer and encouragement. Thank you for being here today, for praying with me and for opening your heart to the Holy Spirit. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can join me again in prayer, seeking God's face and deepening our faith together. May God bless you abundantly, protect you, and guide you in every step you take. Amen. I'll see you in the next video. Stay strong in faith and remember that God is always by your side. Take care. Finally, I praise you for your unchanging presence during times of change. Malachi 3 verse 6 says, I the Lord do not change, and I rest in that assurance. Life may bring transitions, but you are my constant. As I close this prayer, I thank you once again for your faithfulness in every aspect of my life. Whether I'm in a season of joy, challenge, or waiting, you are always with me, guiding and loving me. In Jesus' name, I pray, Amen. If this prayer has blessed you, type Amen in the comments below.
Let's stand in faith together and believe that God's faithfulness will continue to guide you today and always. Share this video with someone who needs encouragement and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more uplifting prayers. Stay blessed.